Okay. Now I know there's a lot of people who want to, but I especially would like to ask Marge Thorpe because Marge Thorpe helped me a great deal and she's helped Robbie Thorpe is uh, in, uh, in the Melbourne and she's come all the way up here and Robbie's a dear friend of mine and a dear friend of De Dennis's. So Marge, on behalf of all the Victorian Blacks, I know that you represent them. Thank you. this place for 45 years and um, most of all today to Fiona, Dennis's partner for a long time and to his children who he loved. I was very um, um, Dennis has been I met Dennis when I was 17 years of age and um, um, at that time um, I guess you know I was a naive young woman and um, I was also part of um, Fitzroy community. My mother moved back to Melbourne. I grew up in um, Bragalong country. My father's mother's country in Gippsland. I also need to pay acknowledgement to everybody from our people, my mother's people, the Japarung, Gunditjmara people, of who she's an elder. She sends me here to give her heartfelt love and respects to the family and to say that she's really um, sorry that she can't be here. Um, her Dennis, Bruce McGuinness and Gary Foley at that time in Melbourne, in Victoria, um, established the national, uh, with Naomi from Sydney, with the people that, um, and Bill Roberts, whose daughter is here, set up the National Aboriginal Health Services and they were establishing that health service in Fitzroy. And as it was said by the brother just before, that um, you know the basis of what we'd done came out of the, of the Black Panthers in Brisbane. I was fortunate enough to go there at that time and it, that changed my life. And that's when I first met Dennis. But to, to understand the magnitude of such a magnificent leader in this country cannot be <coughs> underestimated with what his legacy was, his establishment of all of these organisations on the basis of sovereignty of being sovereigns, about us being the people of this country, the original people. And we never gave up that sovereignty and we always fought to maintain our spirit of who we are and where we come from. And that is what we grew up with, with the legacy of those people, those elders. And, and, and Dennis Bajam was part of that, along with my mother, Alma Thorpe, Bruce McGuinness and Gary Foley. I have to also, um, I don't have to do anything. I, I want to also convey my heartfelt feelings on behalf of my brothers, Robbie Thorpe in particular, Alistair, Stephen, who will never forget, will never forget Dennis and, and, and you know, the times that he spent with us in Melbourne was and the establishment of that health service in Fitzroy to the 80s when he came there and worked there in Fitzroy and worked with um, you know young people who taught he taught us his way of teaching was just something that we wanted to aspire to be like him to say it as it was and to stand strong and stand and stand tall and speak the truth he was there with us in the 70s the 80s and he came back um, you know, time and time again through the um, Commonwealth Games and 
you know, Robert Corowa, you know, pay respects to Brother Corowa, who saved my brother from going to jail for a long time. On behalf of Stevie Thorpe, we're indebted to, to you for that. That's the legacy of Dennis Walker. And then I came, came to Canberra just recently, in the last, since winter time, and um, was lost because I felt like we'd just give up and lost our way. You know, we're tired, our people are sick, we don't know which way to go. And I, and I sat here, you know, at these meetings and just felt like, you know, I'm giving up too. I, I, I'm tired, I'm old, I can't, I don't know what to do. And, you know, I met up with Dennis and Fiona. Well, that was just, um, you know, an inspiration. And um, one of the things that he said to me, you've got to walk with peace in your shoes, <laughs> didn't he, Fiona? <laughs> go there and listen. He used to say to me just recently, go there and listen, but walk with peace in your shoes. And, you know, so many things that we had talked about in just reinforcing that don't give up. We are original sovereigns. We have not given up. And as Uncle Kev says, there's still business to be done. Dennis hasn't left us, he's still working up there. And he's still, you know, he said to me, I'm not leaving here until the job's done. And to Raymond and his sons, you know, he's now handballed to you fellas and his daughters. He knows that you're ready. He knows that we're ready to carry his legacy through. So we can't forget that. This is a <coughs> celebration of his life. And he was such a leader in this country that we are so fortunate to have been part of his life. And I think we should take comfort in that. This is, you know, this is the inspiration and this is the legacy that he's got given us to, to all of us to carry on for him. And um, I hope I've mentioned everybody's name. Robbie is, is not well. And, and Foley's not well, but they, and Mum, you know, she's elderly now, but they really wish that they could have been here to share this day with you. We also want to um, hold a memorial in Fitzroy, in the park where, where Dennis walked, worked, walked, um, you know, before his, um, his final resting place at um, his home country. So we want to do that in the next couple of weeks, so we'll keep this posted on that so that whoever can make that um, are very welcome. So thank you for the opportunity. <laughs>